A hero in Germany saves lives. Elon is investigating the pro-union workers' claims. Another autopilot update arrives. And Tesla inks another retail deal. Here are your Tesla tidbits for February 16th, 2017. Firstly, my apologies for the missed show yesterday. My ISP decided at 9 o'clock local time that they didn't want to work anymore, which obviously makes it difficult to research, record, edit, and post a new show. I gave it an hour before deciding to head to bed and actually get some sleep for once. You guys know by now I hate missing shows, so again, sorry, and hopefully my ISP has their stuff back together. Now, on with the show. We lead today with a post from Electrek, followed by an epilogue from Elon's Twitter feed. Yesterday, Electrek reported on an absolute hero in Germany on the Autobahn. While traveling near Munich, a 47-year-old man piloting a VW Passat lost consciousness due to an apparent stroke. The vehicle had hit the guardrail a few times, but was still traveling at a high rate of speed. A Tesla driver saw the man in peril and decided to act. He maneuvered his Tesla in front of the VW and managed to bring the car to a halt, potentially saving the driver's life, as well as countless other lives on the highway that could have been affected by the out-of-control car. Police estimated the total damage between the two cars to be about 10,000 euro, or about 10,600 U.S. dollars. This wasn't the end of the story, though. The story caught Elon's attention, and he tweeted the following over multiple tweets. Quote, Congrats to the Tesla owner who sacrificed damage to his own car to bring a car with an unconscious driver to safely to a stop. In appreciation, Tesla is providing all ma- repair costs free of charge and expedited. End quote. So yet again, Tesla shows its character, why they've earned my trust, and why it's so easy to like the company. Tesla owed that owner nothing at all, but in the face of a man doing the right thing, the company did likewise. Gizmodo reports that Elon has messaged them via Twitter that he's opened a personal investigation into the claims from Jose Moran. Quote, I'm doing an investigation right now. Fremont Production Management was in poor shape and not able to scale about a year ago. I think we've made a lot of progress since then. If there are areas that you are hearing that still are still not great, I would love to hear your feedback on that. End quote. One of Moran's complaints was regarding the confidentiality agreements that the workers were required to sign. Moran alleged that this meant they were unable to discuss wage and working conditions. Elon refuted this, talking to Gizmodo, saying, quote, The confidentiality agreements were drawn up to stop advanced product leaks to the media. They specifically ex- excluded workplace environment, health, safety, or anything else, end quote. It should be noted that nobody has been able to obtain a copy of the agreement. However, Elon finished by observing that the agreement, quote, obviously hasn't prevented that UAW guy from publishing that BS piece, end quote. Electric is reporting that another update to the autopilot system has enabled auto steer on local roads rather than just highways for Hardware 2 owners. The update permits owners to engage the feature at up to 35 miles per hour as long as you're also less than 5 miles per hour over the speed limit or within your speed limit offset defined in the car's settings. Electric reports that owners should be getting the update today. Lastly, Teslarati is reporting that much like the deal with Tesla did with Nordstrom, they make the deal with Australian retail chain Meyer. The story says that the Meyer location in Melbourne's central business district will clear space on its sixth floor and become home to a new Model X as the centerpiece. Meyer is planning a huge launch event on the evening of the 16th U.S. Eastern Time to usher in Tesla to the store. Check out links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks so much to John Baltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, and John Waller for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Of course, if you have nothing extra to spare, that's fine too. You can still support the show for free with positive reviews and by spreading word of the show. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's all for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.